Right, let's take a look now at that satellite and radar. Things are quiet on air, just a few high clouds swinging by, as you can see. But of course, the radar will stay quiet as we're not expecting a rain chance for today. 62 currently at the airport in Kenner, a northeast wind at 12. Humidity low. Below 60%, only 58% this morning. So the, it's really feeling good out there, too, with the humidity remaining pretty low today. Now, temperatures are in the upper 50s in Hammond and 57 in Slidell, 61 up in Bogalusa, 62 at the airport, 70 in Boothville, though, so a little bit warmer down there near the coast, and 59 over in Gulfport. Now, wind speeds will remain out of the northeast uh, over the next few hours and extending into this afternoon. Eventually, though, we'll be shifting out of the east and the southeast, and that's kind of going to start the process to set up our next weather system. System that will be approaching by Tuesday and Wednesday. So here's the setup for this morning. We're seeing that east wind around this high pressure system that's uh, over in Georgia right now. Now this high will continue to shift off to the east, and what it does, especially by late tonight and going into tomorrow, we'll have that flow from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to help increase our humidity and also warm temperatures up starting tomorrow afternoon. This is a look at 7:30 tomorrow, mostly cloudy, but the high temperature tomorrow getting up to about 76. So it's going to be Warmer with only about a 20% chance of rainfall. So, rain chances remain low for tomorrow. It's actually going to be a really nice day and just a little bit breezy. Now, as we go into Tuesday, that's when the weather goes downhill a little bit. Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be our rain days around here, especially early on Wednesday. Watch how it's going to evolve here as we push this forward into the morning hours on Tuesday. We'll have a squall line developing off to the west. Now, this is 6 p.m. on Tuesday. The line is still to the west at this point, stretching through Lake Charles and approaching Lafayette at this point. Now, in advance of this line, we could have a couple of severe thunderstorms. A couple of isolated tornadoes can't be ruled out. In fact, we're under a slight risk for severe weather. Tuesday going into Wednesday. This line will make its way closer on Tuesday evening, and according to this model, will move through after midnight. Looks like around 3 to 6 a.m. Again, the model's indicating 6 a.m., but it's not going to be exact. It could be off by a few hours. So just expect those storm chances to increase after midnight on Tuesday and heading into Wednesday morning. As far as the Saints game over in Maryland against the Redskins, it's cool there as well. 48 uh, pregame and 56 by kickoff time at noon. 59 degrees post game, plenty of sunshine for the Saints today. Temperatures only getting up to about 70 or 71 for this afternoon, but with that southeast wind by tonight, temperatures will not drop as much overnight, only into the upper 50s and low 60s on the North Shore and mid 60s south of the lake tonight going into tomorrow morning. Here's a look now at the seven day forecast 70 degrees today, 76 for tomorrow. Again, the storm chance is increasing by Tuesday, heading into Wednesday. We'll put it at 90% overnight with severe storms possible. System clears out. Thursday looks just fine. Plenty of sunshine. It looks like that'll set up a nice weekend for next week with highs in the 70s with plenty of sunshine.